Taisho Maiden Fairy Tale is suffering from a rather peculiar disease. To demonstrate, last week we all know what this woman did and for what she did, she's definitely down there in the likability chart. But after this episode, it seems that what is supposed to be a family breaking sin is just brushed off as mere teasing. Like, I know this show at its core is a wholesome rom-com series, but when you introduce ideas such as cheating, prostitution, and child labor, it really becomes difficult to tell what we're supposed to feel when we watch this show, and that is the disease that I'm talking about. On one end, it's wholesome, it's sweet, and that first kiss definitely took us off guard there. But on the other hand, we are given a level of realism that you would think that this show is serious and it respects the heavy concepts that it portrays. But nope, even the part where Ryotaro had to go and eventually be a part of what we call child labor, the writing seems to just brush it off by making Tamahiko tell him that he's gonna be fine. Sure, he might be fine because like I said, the show is wholesome at its core, but knowing how the writing constantly flirts around these dangerous ideas every now and then to portray hardship for a character, well, I'm not optimistic about Ryotaro's chances. In any case, all I want to say is that I just want a wholesome rom-com series and if the writing doesn't know how to handle these heavy topics, might as well just don't introduce these ideas at all because it just ruins the supposed happy feeling that we're supposed to feel when we watch this show. And with that said, that's basically it for this episode. I thank you all for watching and see you guys next time.